Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe, y'all. So, three belt champion in the weight heavyweight division, Alexander Usyk, is hinting that after he fights Tyson Fury, he's pretty much done. Now, rumor has it they're going to be fighting in Saudi Arabia. And I keep seeing different dates, honestly. And I'm just going to say it's going to be for next year. And Usyk basically said that when he once he goes and beats Fury, he's going to go play football. And when we're saying football, when we talk about American football, we're talking about soccer. He's talking about he has a contract so- signed with uh, a soccer team in Ukraine. Now, if this is true, or excuse me, let me say this. Scratch that part. I wouldn't be surprised that if Usyk does somehow beat Fury, he's going to retire couple of reasons number one he was never a big guy he became undisputed at cruiserweight in that tournament and then he ended up moving up and uh, he fought a couple of guys but he never really fought like the hard 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 heavy figure let me heavy he ended up fighting joshua and styled on him twice but he never fought like the real hard heavy hitting guys at the heavyweight class and if he somehow goes in there and beats Tyson Fury the only person up next he got to fight he has to fight is Deontay the bronze bomber Wilder and I don't think that Usyk will ever fight Wilder now Usyk is a very skilled fighter he is but if but the thing that Wilder got he got the equalizer if Wilder touch his chin one time, one time, Usyk's head is going to be in the third or fourth stance, in my opinion. And Usyk's not going to do that. Now, Tyson Fury did beat Deontay Wilder twice, but their styles are, are totally different. And arguably, the first fight and the third fight could have been a knockout because that was a slow count on <laughs> in the first and third fights between Fury and Wilder. So if Wilder hits Usyk anywhere at 50% of how when he connected with Fury, Usyk is going to sleep. And Usyk doesn't want doesn't want those kind of problems. Like I said, he's a small guy that moved up and he he's collecting belts in a four belt era. Doing it very strategically, and he gonna get in and get out, you know. And I can give you somebody, and Andre Ward said it said it himself. He was gonna move up if he would have stayed. He he had a uh, three fight deal secure with HBO. He was gonna get a pick and fight. Then he was gonna move up to heavyweight, and then he was gonna try to challenge Anthony Joshua. But when they asked him about Deontay Wilder, he said he ain't that. No, he ain't that. He he ain't finna do all that now. People scared of Wilder. I, people in my comments saying Wilder ain't fought nobody. Wilder this. But don't nobody ever want no smoke with Wilder. Because he the hardest hit man in heavyweight. In the heavyweight class. Anytime Wilder touches anybody, they go to sleep. And yeah, if he, I've seen people call him Windmill Wilder. He can't fight. He ain't skilled. And but why everybody he hit, they they, they they take a nap. Even Tyson Fury was asleep on that on that first fight and that third fight. He was he was asleep. But it took that ref to go, you know, seven, eight. And I'm counting slow because this is how he did. Nine. I mean, he was on the ground for like 25 seconds. So... I, this don't surprise me, man. Ain't nobody, they not finna fight Wilder, man. Wilder is the most ducked fighter. And because people don't like him, they gonna make excuses for it. But that's just my quick opinion. This don't surprise me. What y'all think?